Welcome to our coverage of Seminole High School Sports on KSEM 106.3, KIKZKSEM.com, and on YouTube at Seminole TX Radio. We want to thank all of our friends and sponsors that support our station and our students and staff that represent Seminole High School in all their activities. We hope you enjoy our coverage of Tribe Sports. Now here's your host, the voice of the Tribe, Rob Franklin. It is not Rob Franklin. Good evening, it's Dustin Wright and my buddy Bo Wells. Bo, glad you're here, buddy. Yes, sir. I, Bring, had, to, I had to pay y'all one back. You sure did. <laughs> KSEM 106.3, bringing you YouTube baseball tonight. Seminole Indians in the Midland Greenwood Rangers in District 3-4A play. Indians coming off an extra innings win Tuesday night on the road in Fort Stockton. And Greenwood is coming in looking for their first win in district play. So should be exciting baseball here on a beautiful night here at Robert Ryan Field. Yeah, pretty night tonight. Uh, wind is uh, kind of blowing in, so I don't think we're going to see too many long balls get hung up there. But you never know. Uh, but it is. It's a pretty day. It's not uh, real cold, uh, but not real hot. So it's a perfect day for baseball. Sure is. We'll take a quick break, and we'll get back to the uh, Rusty Cricker Vendor Ball uh, pregame show right after this. In Stitches and Designs, located at 1110 North Main in Seminole, specializes in custom embroidery and screen printing services. Our friendly staff will work with you to create what you need for your business, sports, and church events, along with any custom personalized needs. Now offering engraving. Custom engraved tumblers and travel mugs make great gifts for employees and loved ones. With a wide variety to choose from, there's something for everyone. Don't forget we offer promotional items such as banners, business cards, pins, and more. For all your custom embroidery and screen printing services, call 432-758-6297 or 432-209-2094. That's In Stitches and Designs. Your vision in stitches. The Travel Center Corner Store, located just west of the high school and Hobbs Highway, is open 24-7 for your convenience. Whatever you need, the Travel Center Corner Store probably has it. Cold deli, hot deli, burritos, pizza, fountain drinks, coffee, grocery items, quality Valero fuel, and a rewards program to save you even more. Stop in anytime and be sure to check us out at cornerstoretx.com. People's Bank is your hometown bank that is a proud supporter of our local schools. People's Bank is a community bank. We are proud to be in the Seminole community. At People's Bank, we're about quick loan decisions, great customer service, and building relationships with all of our customers. Stop by and see us at our location in Seminole. Visit us on the web at peoplesbanktexas.com or give us a call at 432-245-6180. Good luck to the Seminole Indians and Maidens this season. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Brock Morris and Christy Morris are proud to be a part of Seminole and are here to help you with your health care needs. Brock and Christy are certified family nurse practitioners. Brock specializes in family medical practice, joint injections for shoulder and knee pain, and DOT physicals. Christy specializes in family medical practice, women's health, and dermatology. Brock and Christy are now accepting new patients and are located in the clinic at Seminole Memorial Hospital. For appointments, call 758-4711 or 7 4799 Welcome back to the Rusty Cricker, Cricket Vendor Mall pregame show. I, I don't know how Rob does this, man. <laughs> he gets all tongue-tied. Uh, glad you're with us again here tonight on KSEM 106.3 YouTube page tonight. So we're watching uh, Greenwood warm up here going through pregame. Uh, we'll go through the starting lineups here for... For both teams. Lineups brought to you by Corbin's Archery at 616 Southwest 7th and Seminole. They have all your hunting equipment and supply. Call them 432-955-6059. For the Greenwood Rangers tonight, Dylan Dominguez will lead things off at the shortstop position, followed by Britton Finch batting second, playing second base. Zach Royball, a uh, third baseman, will be batting third. Grayson Register. Center fielder batting fourth. Jet Long, tonight's starting pitcher for the Rangers. He is batting fifth, followed by Sawyer Morrow, the right fielder. He'll be batting sixth. The designated hitter, Cale Bingham, will be batting seventh, followed by Parker Compton, 
the left fielder and Bryce Giles will round up the Greenwood Rangers in the batting lineup. He will be behind the plate tonight for the Rangers. For the Indians tonight, Rowan Donaldson will get the start on the mound, and he'll be batting first in the leadoff position, followed by Braden Gonzalez at right field. Caden Kramer will be batting third and be playing third base, followed by Eloy Macias at uh, first base. He'll be batting fourth. Jose Rosales batting fifth from the catcher's position. Obed Rosales, or Reyes, excuse me, will be batting sixth for the Indians at the shortstop position. Josh Lopez, seventh. And he will be playing center field tonight for the Indians. Woody Duncan batting eighth for the Indians. He'll be DHing. Marco Reyes will be playing left field defensively. And rounding up the Indians will be Steven Davis at second base and ninth in the lineup. That's your lineups brought to you by Corbin's Archery at 616 Southwest 7th here in Seminole. We'll be right back. If you or your spouse have been thinking about pre-planning your final arrangements, Ratliff Funeral Homes of Seminole, Denver City, Seagraves, and Brownfield can assist you to pre-plan the services you choose and will relieve the financial burden from your loved ones. If you already have a plan, let us review it with you. Call or come by any of the Ratliff Funeral Home locations in Seminole, Denver City, Seagraves, and Brownfield. Watson Construction, located at 501 West Dandelion Road in Hobbs, specializes in pipeline services. For all your oil and gas services, along with hydrovac, excavation, and tank cleaning needs, Watson Construction is your go-to place for all turnkey pipeline and dirt work needs. Give Watson Construction a call today for all your oil field service needs. 575-391-0537. Serving New Mexico, Texas, and the Permian Basin. If you are in the trucking business, you know how important it is to cover your assets. That's why you need to know about CYA Insurance and Christy Barnes. Christy's a trucking insurance specialist, so you can be assured of getting the complete coverage you need to cover your assets. So for all your commercial insurance needs, give Christy a call, 432-245-4292. Or stop by the office at 205 Northeast Avenue G in Seminole. Or on the web at cyatruckinginsurance.com. Epic Electric Solutions, located in Seminole, Texas, can handle all of your electrical needs. Serving West Texas and New Mexico, Epic Electric Solutions specializes in troubleshooting oil field, electric equipment, lighting upgrades, and electrical renovations. Call us for your residential remodels and new construction. For all of your electrical needs, call the professionals. 806-778-4913. Licensed and insured in Texas and New Mexico. Epic Electric Solutions, making the world a brighter place. What do dirty boots have to do with banking? Nothing unless you're one of our ag lenders. Just like farming and ranching, agribusiness requires hard work, and most banks aren't willing to get their hands or their boots dirty. Since 1907, we've been working closely with producers to keep their operations successful. Whether it's an operational loan, funds for crop diversification, or equipment, we're one of the most dominant FSA lenders in the state. First United Bank. We know ag lending. We know ag. Member FDIC. Hey, it's your local fry cook, John Snowberger. And your local fry gal, Robin. Two all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. That's our Big Mac, but have you heard about our all-new Double Big Mac? Wow, now it's four beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Or you can get our original that everyone has enjoyed since day one. The Big Mac is even bigger, and it's only here for a couple of more weeks. Only at McDonald's. We're, We're loving, loving it. it. Welcome back to the Rusty Cricket Vendor Mall pregame show here at Robert Wright Field before the Indians take on the Greenwood Rangers. District 3-4A action. Let's take a look at stats and numbers brought to you by the Design Shop. They're located at 809 South Main Street here in Seminole. They do silk screen embroidery and large surface wraps. Be sure to call them at 758-2797 for Dang, anything that good. you need. Man, I'm getting it, man. It. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> In district play tonight, aside from uh, Seminole and Greenwood, Andrews is hosting Pecos, and Monahans is hosting Fort Stockton. In district standings heading into tonight, Seminole, Andrews, and Pecos all tied at 1-0 and in district play, and Greenwood, Fort Stockton, and Monahans all at 0-1. Uh, across the way, I haven't seen a score. Are you in our group text message? No, I ain't in y'all's well, district let's group. Let's see if we can find that score. 
I think we were up at one time against Green. Well, at the top of, the top of the sixth in, in softball action across the way at the uh, softball stadium, it is 5-5, five, five, top of the seventh, Greenwood and Semin uh, Seminole. So well, the Maidens need to get a win tonight. They sure do. They they fell in a hole there in district play, so I uh, need to find a way to get a win and be getting back on the positive side of things. Indians entered tonight's game with 11-9 and nine record overall in the year, 1-0 uh, again in district play. Uh, last outing, they beat Fort Stockton on the road in extra innings, 5-4 uh, to four and eight innings of play there in Fort Stockton. Um, Greenwood, they lost to Andrews the other night, ten to seven. I believe they had a lead early in that contest and then lost it, lost late. it late. So um, Andrews coming out with a win there, and Greenwood looking to uh, even the score a little bit. Softball maidens tonight, they entered their game sixteen and six overall in the season, zero and three in district play. And, and like we alluded to, they need a district yeah. win. Uh, they lost on the road Tuesday night at Fort Stockton, 13-12 to 12 in a heartbreaker. So um, just just try to figure out a way to get there. Maidens, uh, if you're wanting to tune in on that, the Greenwood Sports Network is broadcasting that game on YouTube if you want to catch the last little bit of it. Uh, both teams here at Robert Ryan Field have just finished up with their pregame uh, warm-up, so we'll take a quick break. They're going to do probably player announcements and the national anthem so we'll be back here in just a few minutes petty insurance agency deals with numerous companies in order to get you the best coverage and lowest rates possible and they are now an agent for nationwide insurance petty insurance agency specializes in home auto life insurance commercial farm and ranch pivots mexico insurance and workers comp with two locations to serve you at 106 southwest avenue c in seminole and 320 west main street in brownfield or call 758-9188 in seminole or 806-637-0321 in brownfield Did you know that window tint can keep your vehicle cool in the hot West Texas sun? On top of that, it also increases privacy and safety, prevents sun damage to your interior, plus it makes your vehicle look better. Here at Rascal Auto Works, we've got the knowledge, expertise, and equipment to quickly install window tint on your vehicle. We're here at 1303 North Main Street in Seminole. Call us at 432-245-5080 or search Rascal Auto Works online to get more information. Our Don't Say Water Company in Seminole can handle all your water needs. Give Jeremy Nelson, owner and operator, a call today at 432-758-6000 and get all the details about the benefits of an RO rental system for your home or office. Enjoy the convenience and health benefits an RO system can provide. And don't forget, Alwa Dulce Water Company also sells and services Hag and Clack water softeners, and they're now selling bulk, non-potable RO water. In-house financing available. The difference is clear with Alwa Dulce Water Company, 2001 Hobbs Highway. Welcome back to the Rusty Cricket Vendor Mall pregame show here at Robin Rive Field ahead of tonight's District 3-4A battle between the Seminole Indians and Greenwood Rangers. Let's take a quick look at around school brought to you by Garner's Motorsport, Motorsports here in Hobbs. They are located at 320 North Del Paso. You call me area code 575-391-9933 for cool ATVs, motorcycles, and much more. Um, Today in Level Land, uh, we understand they're having track going on. We talked to Mr. Kramer down there at the end, said everything was going pretty well up there up north in Level Land. Uh, today and tomorrow, the boys' golf team is playing at the Hobbs Tournament, where the girls are playing down in Kingsland. That also is taking place today and tomorrow. Tennis today and tomorrow is at Lubbock. Uh, Saturday, the FFA is in Clarendon. And on Tuesday, track host the Trout Relays, followed by Seminole. Maiden softball on the road at Monahan's at 5 p.m. That game's going to be brought to you on KSEM 106.3 on all platforms. Rob Franklin will be doing that ball game. I will make sure that he will be doing that <laughs> ball game because I'm going to be stuck at work. And you've got Denver City Sports to do, don't you? On oh, what day is that? Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Yep, we'll be somewhere. And then <laughs> you don't even <laughs> No, I lose track because, man, spring is loaded with it's, things going on. It sure on. is. i got to yeah. continue here before we take our next break. <coughs> Uh, the boys will be playing at Monahan's. That's a 7 p.m. first pitch. 
That game is going to be brought to you on 98xfm.com. That's audio only, so online. We'll mention that to you later on in the broadcast. That way you can get that written down. we got to give a shout-out to Rob Franklin. Rob set us up tonight and then bailed on us. He's over at the Seminole Community Center tonight hosting the uh, chamber banquet. So a man with many hats. Yep. I don't know how many of them fit on that bald head. But well, one of us had to pick who was going to that, and I figured since he was MC and I'd sit out because I actually got invited to that too for for the paper. So well, I almost pulled out pulling a Marsha Brady, just saying you know something suddenly came up. But I'd rather be here at the ballpark. A bad day at the ballpark is beats a good day anywhere else. And right. It's not going to be a bad day here at the ballpark. I tell you that much. So. Um, with that, we'll take our last break before we start action here. So hang tight. Thank you for joining us on KSEM 106.3 YouTube coverage of Seminole Indian Baseball. Zion Broadband is your local internet provider. Their office is next to Dairy Queen, 1300 Hobbs Highway in Seminole. They're reliable, they're fast, experienced, knowledgeable, and trustworthy. They have an extensive track record with local people in Gaines County. No contracts, no data limits, and no gimmicks. Once again, Zion Broadband, 1300 Hobbs Highway in Seminole, located next to Dairy Queen. Call 432-758-0900. C&C Irrigation and Pump, located west of Seminole, just off the Hobbs Highway, can handle all your irrigation needs from top to bottom. C&C Irrigation and Pump service all makes and models of irrigation systems, along with pump repair, plumbing supplies, and electrical supplies. And don't forget to ask about our Zimatic pivot system equipped with the latest technology. Contact CNC Irrigation and Pumps 758-2053. West Texas FiberLinks offers a variety of electrical services. From facility construction to troubleshooting, our crews are able to address all your electrical and instrumentation needs. Overhead transmission and power distribution lines are also a service provided by West Texas FiberLink. We offer a host of mechanical and civil services. Give West Texas FiberLink a call, 758-2700, for all your oil field, electrical, and communication needs. Check out the lumber yard located one half mile south of Seminole just off the Andrews Highway. The lumber yard probably has whatever you're looking for and most likely in stock. So for all your building needs along with electrical supplies, plumbing supplies, power tools, garden supplies, barbecue grills and much more. And remember they also have all your true value hardware supplies. That's the lumber yard and supplies serving Seminole and the surrounding area. Call 432-758-5566. Stop in at We Care Pharmacy, a health care pharmacy where most prescriptions are filled in under 10 minutes. Owned and operated by Prasad, who has served the Seminole area for over a decade. Trusted by many. We accept commercial insurance plans, Medicare, Medicaid, and a $4 generic plan. We offer OTC, diabetic supplies, and a drive-up window. We care for you and your family and have free prescription delivery. Call 432-847-4777 or stop by 312 North Main in Seminole. Your local Health Mart Pharmacy, we care. McBride Supplies It All is here for all your oil field supply needs. They're a distributor of Balon, Kimray, and Flowline, as well as a licensed Victaulic distributor. They have a large inventory, and from belts to stuffing boxes and liners, as well as a full-service rigging shop to enable your chain, wire, rope, and hose needs. McBride Supplies It All has over 100 years oil field experience. They're available 24 hours on call. Call Hobbs, 575-393-5275, or Andrews, 432-524-1160. Lowen Farm and Lumber, located 409 North Main in Seminole, is the name to remember for all your building products. Henry Lowen and his staff stand ready to assist you with personal service. For all your lumber, hardware, paint, general maintenance, supply items, and more, all under one roof, with the wide selection to choose from. Lowen Farm and Lumber now carries a great selection of cedar and redwood, along with beams and floor joists. Remember, Lowen Farm and Lumber, your complete home and farm building supply store. Call 758-6035. When you call Seminole Butane at 758-5493, you can depend on personal efficient service. Seminole Butane can handle all your fueling needs, gas, diesel, or propane on the farm, ranch, or in the oil field, delivered to your location. Owner Chip Wicker reminds you to check out their new fueling site, 
next to the office at 419 Northwest 11th Street, Seminole Butane, locally owned and operated, serving Seminole and the surrounding area for over 60 years. That's Seminole Butane. In a hurry and on the go, stop in at Hometown Convenience Store, 400 West Avenue A in Seminole. Grab your favorite soft drink, coffee, and snacks, and they have a great selection of snacks, such as chips, candy, peanuts, donuts, and much more. And save more when you buy two 8.4-ounce size of Red Bulls. Don't forget about our handy drive through window, and be sure to check out our fuel prices and fill up with high-quality Exxon fuel at Hometown Convenience Store. Have you ever thought about getting a pilot license? Well, think about it no more. Give Addison Espinosa, owner of Flying Aces Aviation, a call at 432-209-3547. Addison is a certified flight instructor, offering flight instruction classes with private lessons and beginner's classes. For more information, call Flying Aces Aviation today at 432-209-3547. You'll be glad you did. Quick and Clean, located at 412 Northwest 21st in Seminole, can handle all your oil and filter changes along with diesel fuel, filter changes, and don't forget Quick and Clean can also take care of your brake work needs, front end alignments, and minor auto repairs. For all your vehicle maintenance, give Quick and Clean a call today, 758-3923, for quality service and local guys that know you. That's Quick and Clean, 412 Northwest 21st in Seminole. It's time for Tribe Baseball here on 106.3 KSEM, YouTube page only tonight as the Seminole Indians host the Midland Greenwood Rangers and Rowan Donaldson taking the last of his warm-up pitches here at Robert Ryan Field. Bo, would you give us our first inning sponsors? We sure will. Our first quarter, our first inning scoreboard, Silver Star Insurance, and our sponsors for the inning, Sonic, Gaines County Abstract, Petty Insurance, Quick and Clean, West Texas Fire, Oasis Gin, Low and Farm and Lumber, McBride Supplies It All, The Corner Store, West Texas Fiber Link, and Helographics. We'd like to give a shout out to JCAM Catalyst as our video feed sponsor for the remainder of Seminole Athletics uh, this season. Uh, they are one of the nation's leading oil field chemical providers. They're Permian Basin wide, so let them know if you have any chemical needs in the oil field. As the Indians finish up their pre-inning warm-up, gather at the mound. Again, Rowan Donaldson on the mound for the Indians tonight. Rowan did not pitch the other night in Fort Stockton. So fresh arm and batting first for the Greenwood Rangers, Dylan Dominguez, as we get play underway here at Robert Ryan Field beautiful night here at the ballpark again yeah it is wind just <coughs> blowing in from left center field stiff breeze may hold some balls inside the ballpark tonight yeah it might Donaldson takes to the rubber sets and the pitch line back up the middle gathered by Steven Davis over to first base that's out number one. One pitch, one out. Pretty efficient right there. Very good. Let through, throw strikes and let your defense play behind you. Four to three on the scorebook there if you're keeping it at home. Brings up Britton Finch, the second baseman for Greenwood. Top of the first inning of play. And we got a text just a while ago that the Maidens walked off Greenwood. Six to five. Much needed district victory yeah. over there across the way as Donald's Donaldson's first pitch is in for a strike. Yeah, that's a big momentum builder there. Get a win under your belt, maybe get something on a roll now. Started off the season 16-6, uh, and six, pretty good record. 16-6, pretty good record. And, you know, come into district play ranked. And then three losses there in district play as Donaldson brings the 0-1 pitch to the plate. Fouled off. That's a Gaines Gym foul ball. Or is that a West, a West Texas West Texas, West Texas, West Texas fire. fire and safety? That's Rob's deal. We're not. Yeah, we'll we'll promote Rob <laughs> for fire extinguishers and inspections, safety products, pressure washers, and much more. Contact Rob at rob at wtxsupply.com. I guess we better give the boss man some credit, huh? Yeah. 
as the 0-2 pitch is again fouled off. West Texas Fire and City Janitorial Foul Ball. The breaks and action are brought to you by Gaines Gym. They're located at 610 Southeast 2nd Seminole, so we're going to give them a shout-out whenever we have a break in action. And our big play sponsor is Freedom Bell Bonds. Call Angie at 432-758-3234. Donaldson sets for the 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball just a little inside. Brings the count to one and two against Britton Finch, the second baseman for the Rangers. If you hear a little wind noise tonight, my buddy Bo, he brought the crowd mic. Yeah, they will get a little bit of action out of the crowd tonight. It just gets so quiet up here in the press box. Donaldson's breaking pitch, caught off the bat and out number two. Brought in by Obed Reyes there at shortstop. Two outs now here in the top half of the first on the Silver Star Insurance scoreboard, 0-0. <clears throat> Zach Roybolt coming in for the Rangers. Indians looking to go three up, three down here. Good start. It'd be a very good start if we can get out of this right here. Donaldson sets and delivers. First pitch inside and got the corner, strike one. 0-1 to Zach Robalt. Throwing a lot of strikes here early. Sure is. That's a good sign. Very good sign for a pitcher. Donaldson's a linchpin of this Indian program. Has been for the past several years. It's the 0-1 pitch chopped up the middle. Gathered by Reyes. The throw to first in time. And that'll bring up the Indians in the bottom half of the first. At the end of one half of the inning. No score here at Robert Ryan Field. Seminole schools strive to provide comprehensive educational services in our community. Whatever the educational need, we're committed to doing our best as a team to meet it. For more information on eligibility and programs, contact us at Seminole ISD. We're extremely proud of our students and their accomplishments in academics, FFA, band, choir, art, theater, speech, debate, cosmetology, Skills USA, and athletics. We're also a proud sponsor of Seminole Sports Broadcast for those unable to attend. Go Indians and Maine! Having trouble with your water well? Give Tri-County Fast Bailing a call at 209-0765. Tri-County Fast Bailing can brush and bail the rust and sand away on existing wells or new wells. Tri-County Fast Bailing has the experience and knowledge with over 20 years of service in Seminole and the surrounding area. To get your well operating back at its full capacity, that number again, 209-0765. Tri-County Fast Bailing. For all your abstract and title service needs, you can depend on Gaines County Abstract Company located 207 South Main in Seminole. Gaines County Abstract Company is the original title company in Gaines County with complete records that date back to the 1800s. So give them a call at 758-3351 for fast turnaround with over 160 years of combined experience along with in-house attorneys, quality abstract and title service since 1911. Commercial Tire Service located at 1100 Hobbs Highway in Seminole is your complete tire service center. Commercial Tire Service carries Goodyear and Firestone Ag Tires, Cooper, Nido, and Michelin Tires for passenger cars, trucks, and SUVs. You always get great service and great prices. We can also take care of your front end alignment needs, oil and filter changes, brake jobs, and much more. And don't forget Commercial Tire Service offers 24-hour road service. Just call 758-9477 or 758-1390. Rowan Donaldson, Braden Gonzalez, and Caton Kramer leading off things for the Indians here in the bottom half of the first inning of play. Welcome back to Seminole Indian Baseball on KSEM 106.3's YouTube page. Only broadcast we have tonight. Didn't go live on air on radio. Yep. No. <coughs> couldn't, we couldn't buy the airtime, I guess. I don't know. But I don't know. Rob made that decision. We're going to stay, stick we're with gonna it. St all complaints need to go to Rob anyway. Yeah. So Donaldson steps in the plate here. Jet Long, pitcher of record on the mound for the Rangers as he sets to deliver the first pitch. High in the zone for ball one. Here in the bottom half of the first, 0-0 on the Silver Star Insurance scoreboard. Also like to thank Dr. Amy Williams, DDS, for sponsoring the halftime and post-game shows for us as the 0-1 pitches, or 1-0 pitch, excuse me, is outside. 
for ball two. So 2-0 two and o to Rowan Donaldson. Uh, Dr. Williams has been an instrumental advertiser for us on our live reads. And, of course, we don't have halftime here in baseball. Right. So got to mention her on that as the 2-0 pitch. Swung on a miss by Donaldson. Brings the count to 2-1. and one. Rowan Donaldson, pitcher tonight for the Indians. Rowan got out of that first inning just pitching eight pitches. Stepping in from the right side of the batter's box. 2-1 pitch, fouled straight back. West Texas Fire and City janitorial foul ball right there. Brings the count to 2-2. Two and two. Jet Long trying to find a way to compete against Donaldson here. No score in top of, or the bottom of the first inning as the 2-2 pitch delivered. Tight. Just inside. Brings the count full, 3-2 and two to Donaldson. Yeah, that one was just in the, on the line of the batter's box, so you had a little bit inside there. Here's the pitch. Swung on a miss for strike three. Donaldson goes down on Indians first out of the evening. Brings up Braden Gonzalez, right fielder for the Indians. On another... <laughs> We've mentioned it several times. Beautiful night here at Robert Ryan Field. It really is. And that wind is blowing straight, almost straight in at us half most of the time here. Jet Long delivers first pitch in the at bat to Braden Gonzalez, foul tip. Umpire's going to run out and get the catcher a little break. Went off his pads, but still rattles you as a, as a catcher. Yeah, it will. Gonzalez looking down the line to coach Chris Gonzalez, getting signals. Steps in the box here, waiting the 0-1 pitch from Jet Long. Pop fly to center field, gathered by Register, center fielder for Greenwood. That's out number two for the Indians. Brings up Caton Kramer, the third baseman for the Indians. Looking to get something started for the Tribe. F8 on the score sheet here, so Rob will know what's happening. He goes back to look, and Jet Long's first pitch to Kramer. Down the middle for strike one. Had a touch of a little break to it. Yeah, you've seen it now. Long not overly dominant as he brings the 0-1 pitch to Kramer. Fouled down the line to right field, just out of play. Kids will go chase that down. I'm not sure if they're going to get snow cones or not. But <laughs> used to be used snow to be cones. pretty popular back in the day. Go them, go get them snow cones. It's Kate and Kramer now in a 0-2 hole with two outs here in the bottom of the first. Jet Long delivers pitch, chop foul down the third baseline. Kramer staying alive. His first at bat of the evening. Yeah, just keep battling here. Anything close. In a big hole here, 0-2. O2. 0-2 o pitch delivered by Long, fouled straight back. Doing what you got to do. Staying alive, find a way to put the ball between the white lines out here. Tell you what, Indians <coughs> did a great, or Seminole ISD did a great job with, with turfing this field here. It looks beautiful. Oh, it's, it's an outstanding <coughs> complex. Kramer's 0-2 pitch has to dance out of the way of it. Dribbled across the right-hand battle batter's box. Again, here in the bottom half of the first on the Silver Star Insurance scoreboard, 0-0. Zero, zero. Kramer looking down the line. Gets settled into the box. Yellow batting gloves, pretty sharp. Yeah, I like that. 1-2 pitch. Fouled off again, staying alive as that ball rattled through the net and found its way into the stands here at Robert Ryan Field. Yeah, it squeezed through the real very narrow <laughs> hole, but it made it through there. Yeah, got the, got the Greenwood fans a little rattled over there. Got to keep them honest. Got to keep everybody honest up here. Long peers over the glove, winds and delivers the one-two pitch, and time called. Caden Kramer got accepted on the time call right there. Yeah, he didn't have to do the, what was it, Tennessee? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
That cost them. It did. Long delivers a one-two pitch. Swung on a miss for strike three, and Greenwood gets out of the side. One complete here at Robert Ryan Field. No score. We'll be back right after this. BJ Pipe and Supply in Lovington wants to bring back great customer service by providing oil field parts and service to our customers. We've been serving the heroes of the Permian Basin since 2010. We help keep your pumping units producing and so much more. Come see us in Lovington, New Mexico at 1105 East Avenue D or call 575-552-1003 for BJ Pipe and Supply. Take a break from the ordinary and drive into Sonic in Seminole today for a refreshing Coca-Cola. While you're there, try one of our delicious hot dogs. To make it even better, top your meal off with an extraordinary real ice cream shake. Don't forget to take advantage of our happy hour from 2 to 4 p.m. daily for half price drinks and slushes, especially Coca-Cola. This is How You Sonic. Coach Jackson for Permian Basin Abstract Company. Yeah, this is Coach Kent Jackson, and I know our experience uh, dealing with Permian Basin Abstract was uh, first class uh, in the coaching business. Elizabeth and I have had an opportunity to buy several houses, and uh, but I know this was absolutely the easiest experience that we've ever had. Trey and his staff there made us feel at home, and the service was very professional, yet very uh, hometown friendly, and uh, we highly recommend dealing with Permian Basin Abstract. Exceeding expectations in customer service is their specialty, Permian Basin Abstract company. Grayson registered Jet Long and Sawyer Morrow. First three up for Greenwood here in the top of the second inning of play. And Bo's going to get you the second inning sponsors. M&S Backo and Service Scoreboard now. Seminole ISD, McDonald's, West Texas National Bank, Dr. Michael Q. Watson, Seminole Butane, Permian Basin Abstract, Brock and Christy Morris, Marlon D. Carter, Attorney Law Zion, Broadband, Aqua Dulce Water, CYA Insurance. Donaldson's first pitch down the pipe. Strike one. Got a lot of velocity on that pitch tonight. Hey, he's looking good out there. Really Very comfortable found his, here. Really found his early. groove here early. Pitching from the stretch. Gets set. As Grayson Register looks in. Swung on and miss. Breaking ball. Off speed, actually. Brings the count 0 to 2. Grayson Register, the center fielder for Greenwood. Top of the second inning. Uh, MS back on services scoreboard. No score. As Donaldson sets to deliver. Swung on a miss for a strike three. That's and one down for Greenwood here in the top of the second. Yeah, he's pitching really, really good here early. You know, I always got on to Rob about changing the innings. Mm -hmm. And you forgot. Or changing the quarters. We're changing the score in general, and I forgot. So it's not as easy as you guys make it look. <laughs> Bo, if you haven't seen Denver City Sports, man, he's got the ESPN set up over there. You need to give him a watch tomorrow. We'll let him plug that here in just a minute. As Donaldson, his first pitch to Jet Long, finds the outside corner for strike one. Bo, go ahead, talk about D.C. baseball tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be in Muleshoe to start district play. That'll be our first district game, so uh, we'll Hope to go over there and defend our district title this year again. Donaldson's 0-1 pitch to Jet Long, just a little low in the zone. 1-1 the count. Indian infield playing back. As Long peers in over Donaldson. Foul tip. Brings the count to 1-2. and two. For Jet Long, the Greenwood Ranger pitcher. I think that ball, foul ball hit the bat twice. Well, it doesn't count twice, unfortunately. <laughs> it should, know. but we didn't invent those rules. As Donaldson sets to deliver. One two pitch. That oh, looked good. Looked good from this vantage point, but must have been just a little low in the zone. Brings the count to two to two. Two balls, two strikes to Jet Long. Right hander for Greenwood. Yeah. Just a little outside and low, full count. Gotta go get him right here on the payoff pitch. 
Jet Long settles in the back of the box. Kind of split between the lines. Donaldson's full count pitch just high. And it's a free pass for Jet Long as Sawyer Morrow, the right fielder for Greenwood, steps to the plate. Well, until that at bat there by Greenwood, he, he looked very, very comfortable, which uh, you get one, let one get away from you. He'll get back in a row here. It looks like Cannon Ogle will be the courtesy runner for Jet Long. For those that are unfamiliar with the high school rules, pitchers and catchers can get courtesy runners. So Cannon Ogle will be doing the running for Jet Long as he goes to the dugout, probably going to put on a light jacket, at least over the pitching arm, get his mind focused for the next half inning as Donaldson sets and peers over at first base. And his first pitch to Morrow is in swinging for strike one. Donaldson has not missed much tonight. No, he's been he's, very he's been very, very close. As he appears again over to first base, holding Ogle in check. Oh, one one pitch, low, and Ogle takes off and steals second base. Moves a runner into scoring position for Greenwood here in the top of the second inning of play. And again, on the MS back on surface scoreboard, no score here at Robert Ryan Field. One out here in the inning. <coughs> one and one the count to Sawyer Morrow. Right fielder for Greenwood is the middle infielders. Work Ogle. Ooh. Ooh. Caught Moyer Morrow on the hip. Second walk of the inning for yeah, and Donaldson. Roll. After he was rolling eight pitches in the first inning, and he's up to 20 here now total in two innings. If I, re if I refresh my uh, memory today, it's 110 on the pitch count for right. UIL. So still got plenty of time right there. Donaldson now will face Kel Bingham, the designated hitter for Greenwood, in his first pitch. Big, long swing from the left-hand side of the box. 0-1 oh, the count to Bingham. Two on. Runners hit second and first. One out, top of the second. As Donaldson looks to second, the delivery to home. Fouled off. Hope it didn't hit my truck. <laughs> As we go 0-2 oh, to count to Kale <coughs> Bingham. I know it didn't hit mine. It'll take me 20 minutes to get back to my truck. <laughs> Bo did the smart thing. He parked over at the Wigwam Stadium parking lot. I parked over here west of Robert Ryan Field and in the danger areas. 0-2 pitch inside. Just a little high. It looked good. I would have took a hack at it. He wanted it. He wanted it too. I would have took a hack at it personally. One out, two runners on. One and two the count to Kel Bingham. Greenwood designated hitter as he fouls that one off to the left side of the stadium out in the parking lot. Greenwood's got runners at first and second with one out here. Top half of the second. Cannon Ogle at second base and Sawyer Morrow, who's not rubbing his hip but got hit in the hip last at bat. As Donaldson steps off and gathers composure. Wind's picking up a little bit more, moving more out of right field into the stadium. Right. As Donaldson again gathers himself and calls time. This is a uh, Gaines Gym timeout. So he wants to visit about pitch selection of some sort. It was a quick one. Jose Rosales behind the plate for the Indians tonight. Making his way back to the behind the home plate. Again, top of the second inning, no score. On the MS back home services scoreboard. One and two the count to Kale Bingham. I think he's going to get him right here, Dustin. Rowan Donaldson peering back to second base. 
the pitch. Got him. And he caught him looking for his second strikeout of the inning, second strikeout of the ball game. Good that job working up. him over. Sure did. And a great, great pitch selection right there to go outside. As Parker Compton comes in for Greenwood, the left fielder, two outs, two on in the top of the second. Donaldson looking back at Ogle. Good pitch. And right down the middle for strike one to Parker Compton, the right-handed left fielder for Greenwood. Eloy Macias, the first baseman, working behind the runner at first. Just out, just As the 0-1 low. pitch was just a little low in the zone. Umpire must not like it that way. No, he ain't going to give nothing. Just a little low. Pitchers are still trying to find the umpire's zone here early in this contest. As the 1-1 pitch comes from Donaldson. Right down the middle for strike two. Well, looking to, looking to get out of this two runners on hole. See, they had two runners on with one out in the inning. Look for the Greenwood runners to maybe extend their lead just a little bit more. As Compton chokes up on the bat looking to poke something out there in the field. With a one-two count and two outs. The pitch just outside. <laughs> That was, that was close. Didn't miss it by much. Did not miss it at all, my opinion. But I don't get paid the big bucks to make, <laughs> that, make that decision behind the plate. All right. Two balls, two strikes, two outs in the top of the second. No score here at Robert Ryan Field. It's Rowan Donaldson sets. Looks back at Ogle at second. And the ball high brings the count full, three and two. Well, Rowan will have another payoff pitch here. Worked out last time, so let's see what he can do with 3-2 here. Top After half of the second, 0-0 zero, zero on the M&S Backhoe and Service scoreboard. Compton found himself in a hole early there in the in the contest and <coughs> against Compton, and Compton uh, found his way back against Donaldson, working to a full 3-2 count. Reynolds will be going here. Compton still has the bat choked up. And the pitch. Got Swung it. on a miss for strike three. Donaldson works his way out of the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. This game is tied 0-0. Right. We'll be back right after this. There are tires, and then there's BF Goodrich tires. For the passionate driver, BF Goodrich light truck tires strive to deliver outstanding all-terrain traction, rugged dependability, a quiet highway ride, and the bold look you want for your rig. Don't just get tires that fit your truck, get tires that transform it. Ask about BF Goodrich light truck tires today at Howard McCaleb Tire in Seminole. Howard McCaleb Tire has the expert tire service you need to take your car's performance to the next level. Specific performance may vary by tire model. Dr. Michael Q. Watson, MD, is located at 208 Northwest 8th Street in Seminole. Dr. Watson is available for all general medical practice and obstetrics. For excellent health care, call Dr. Michael Q. Watson, 758-3267 for an appointment, and walk-ins are always welcome. Dr. Watson accepts most commercial insurance, Medicaid, Medicare, and is board certified for DOT physicals. Located across from Memorial Hospital. Oasis Gin and Oasis Warehouse are proud supporters of the Seminole Maidens and Indians. We'd like to wish the Maidens and Indians the best of luck for their successful season. Please come see the friendly staff at Oasis Gin for all your ginning, marketing, and warehouse needs. Oasis Gin and Oasis Warehouse appreciate your business. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Good luck to the Maidens and Indians. Oasis Gin and Oasis Warehouse. Silver Star Insurance Agency, located at 113 Southwest Avenue C in Seminole, specializes in crop and crop health insurance. Silver Star has the personnel in place to make sure you get the right and necessary coverage for all your crop insurance needs. Proudly serving your West Texas community, 
When it's time to get your crop insurance, call the professionals at Silver Star Insurance 758-2223 or stop by the office. Sophomore Eloy Macias will be first up for the Indians here in the bottom half of the second inning of play. It's a nothing-nothing ball game here. Seminole and Greenwood, District 3, 4A action. Robert Ryan Field. We welcome you back to the KSEM 106.3 YouTube broadcast as Jet Long's first pitch to Macias outside catches the corner for strike one. Well, both teams in the first inning didn't put anybody on, and Greenwood got two on in that top half of the second. So let's see if the Indians can get some runners on, make something happen. The 0-1 pitch from Jet Long, breaking ball, just finds the inside part of the plate. And Macias is down 0-2 here early in the at-bat. Long threw 15 pitches in the first inning for Greenwood as he brings the 0-2 pitch to the plate. Swung on a foul back. That's a West Texas Fire and City janitorial foul ball. For fire extinguishers and inspection, safety <coughs> products, pressure washers, cleaning supplies, and much more, email Rob, who's not here tonight, at rob at w2xsupply.com. He's DJing something. Ground ball to the second baseman. Bobbled. And Macias will find his way on with an E4. Hey, get on and, how you can. And that puts the Indians with the base runner on for the first time tonight. As Jose Rosales, the catcher for the Indians, finds his way to the batter's box. Obed Reyes and Josh Lopez waiting for their turn early here. In this contest, no score as Macias takes his lead at first base. Jet Long looking over. And his first pitch to Jose Rosales down the middle for strike one. Zero, zero on the MS Baco and Service scoreboard here in the bottom half of the second. Oh, and one the count to Jose Rosales. Catcher for the Indians. Slapped into left field, a single. First hit of the night for either team. As Rosales records a single and moves Macias over to second base. And Obed Reyes, the shortstop for the Indians, <coughs> step yeah, into the plate. Pinch runner here, number 10. That is Derek Madrid, the junior. Be courtesy running for the Jose Indian. Rosales, yeah. And you also have runners at first and second with nobody out. So Bed takes his time getting into the box, getting his signals from Coach Chris Gonzalez down the third baseline. Macias, sizable lead at second as Jet Long's first pitch to Reyes. Outside for ball one. First baseman playing inside of Jose's Rosales. It's not, excuse me, Rosales. It's um, Derek Madrid. Lead off there at first base. Middle infielder is working. There's a ground ball to short. Six to four. Four to three. Double play. But not before Macias moves over to third base. But that's two out for the Indians. As Obed Reyes grounds out short. Well, you got one in scoring position here. Base, just a bait, little base hit will get a, get a run in and take the lead here. That was Taylor made. Yeah, it was. If you were watching it there. Brings up Josh Lopez, who had a big night the other night. Takes the first pitch from Long and got caught up in the wind as the right fielder Morrow hauls that in. Indians had a chance to strike, but come away with nothing as we go to the top of the third inning play. We'll be back right after this. A Fernando's Body Shop located at 511 South Main in Seminole has the experience and knowledge to handle all your auto body repair needs, windshield replacement, hail damage, repair, complete paint jobs, and insurance estimates. So call the experts 758-3171. That's Fernando's Body Shop, a proud supporter of the Seminole Indians and Maidens, serving Seminole and the surrounding area for over 30 years. That's Fernando's Body Shop, 511 South Main. 
The cold weather is arriving once again, and now's the time to insulate your home. Give A&P Supply a call and get all the details about attic insulation, along with many other types of insulation to make your home much more energy efficient. If you've been thinking about improving the exterior or interior of your home with something new, ask about Versetta Stone. And now to serve you better, A&P Supply is now open on Saturday, 8 a.m. to noon. A&P Supply, four miles north of Seminole, just off the Seagraves Highway, or call 955-0007. Pioneer Gin is proud to be a part of Gaines County and the agricultural industry. You can trust your cotton to Pioneer Gin this coming season. The trained professionals at Pioneer Gin take pride in the turnout and the quality of your cotton. Come out and talk to the professionals at Pioneer Gin. We're 19 miles west of Seminole, just off the Hobbs Highway, or just give us a call at 758-3822. Bryce Giles, Dylan Dominguez, and Britton Finch, 9-1-2 and two for Greenwood as we go into the top of the third inning of play. Here at Robin Arrive Field, District 3, 4A action on the M&S Backhoe, excuse me, CK Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing scoreboard for this game. Still knotted at zero. Rowan Donaldson looks to deliver the first pitch. Finds the outside corner against the left-hander for strike one. Try as to he squeeze looks. the sponsor in CNC Irrigation, Howard McCaleb Tire, a and Supply, Institutes and Design, Ratliff Funeral Home, People's Bank, Silver Star Insurance, Epic Electric Solutions, Freedom Bell Bonds, We Care Pharmacy. Did a good job right there. Yeah, a professional. It's Donaldson's 0-1 pitch fouled off to the left side of the stadium. Out among the vehicles. I'm sure the insurance folks love that. Yep. I always try to park as far away as I can. I know my agent would love that if I made that phone call. That'd be guy change. That would, <laughs> <laughs> that would be. It's Donaldson. Brings the 0-2 pitch to the plate up the middle. Ground ball gathered by Stephen Davis and over the first base to Eloy Macias for out number one. Good play. Way to be out there backing him up. Slow roller, funneled it in great. Brings up Dylan Dominguez, top of the lineup for Greenwood. Dominguez grounded out to Stephen Davis, his last at bat. First pitch of the ball game. Yeah, it sure was. It's Donaldson with 34 pitches on the evening. His first pitch to Dominguez. Outside corner catches it, strike one. Donaldson's doing a great job of working inside and out against these Greenwood hitters. Not getting much love from the up and down from behind the plate. It's the old one pitch. Just a bit high. Brings the count one and one. Again on the CK Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing scoreboard. At the top of the third inning of play, no score. One and one count to Dylan Dominguez. And that's fouled off. In between the stadiums here, between Robert Ryan Field and Seminole ISD Softball Stadium. Didn't find its way on top of the girls' field house, though. <laughs> I'd hate to be that janitor that has to climb up there and get them every two weeks or so. Yeah. <coughs> it's a one and one count to Dominguez. Popped up and finds its way out of play. It's a West Texas Fire and City janitorial foul ball. Give them a little bit of love. One out here in the top of the third. I'd like to thank our live read sponsors, the Rusty Cricket Vendor Mall, Corbin's Archery, Design Shop, Garner's Motorsports, Gaines Gym, and of course West Texas Fire and Safety. As the 1-2 pitch fouled back into the net. Also like to thank uh, Freedom Bell Bonds and Dr. Amy Williams, DDS, our live read sponsors. And video feed brought to you by JCAM Catalyst. I'd like to thank those guys for coming on midway through the year and they're going to be with us through the remainder of sports season, and hopefully we can get them to go further on in next yeah, year. So exactly. Appreciate all of our sponsors for bringing you Indiana Maiden coverage, all sports this year. 
It's Donaldson's one-two pitch. Swung on a miss. And that is out number two for Greenwood. That's Donaldson's fourth strikeout of the night. Well, I bet you I know who made the J-Cam Catalyst uh, logo on the screen. Well, that probably was you, wasn't it? No, oh, that, that probably that, be, that was you. No, that yeah. wasn't me. Because you do mine. I do yours. I do most of them, but I didn't get a chance to do that one there. Well, I, I don't know where to, you found that one. I have to talk to Rob about that as Britton Finch steps into the box for Greenwood. First pitch. Finds its way in the air in trouble, but Eloy Macias gathers it in from the first base position right behind first base. And that will retire the side as Greenwood goes down 1-2-3 in the top of the third. We'll be back right after this. West Texas National Bank has 52 ATMs to serve your banking needs from Big Spring to Terlingua and north to Seminole, Denver City and Plains. Great news, WTNB has even faster, easier, and more secure ways for you to pay with our latest digital wallet options. Talk to an experienced professional today for your ag equipment, farm, ranch, home, and auto loans. That's West Texas National Bank in Seminole, your one-stop financial institution. Member FDIC, an equal opportunity lender. Here to care for you in every stage of life, Seminole Memorial Hospital offers state-of-the-art technology and small-town hospitality. Our dedicated staff is here to give you compassionate quality care you deserve. We strive to provide our patients with comfort and confidence in their treatment during their time of need. It's nice to have a neighbor you can trust, someone who can look out for you and your family in good times and bad. If you need legal counsel, you can count on Marlon D. Carter, attorney at law for your legal service needs. For family and criminal law, personal injury, wills and estates, as well as a variety of other legal services. Mr. Carter lives and works with you right here in Seminole. He cares about you and our community. His office is located 118 Southeast Avenue B, across the street from the courthouse. He can be reached at 432-758-2181 or by email. Marlon at marlincarterlaw.com. Se habla español. Josh Lopez. No, Woody Duncan. Woody Duncan will step in here for the Indians as we move to the bottom of the third inning of play. Duncan takes the first pitch, line drive <coughs> to left field for out number one. One pitch, one out. Did we have a pitch and change there, Bo? Uh, we've got number 18 on the mound. I think we had a pitch and change that we were not paying attention to. No, that's Jet no, Long still. So. Sorry. Should have wrote his jersey number down. Brings up Stephen Davis for the Indians. Bottom of the third inning of play here on KSM 106.3. First pitch swung on and missed. Strike number one. It's been an all pitcher and pitcher's duel here. Some good defense played by the Indians, so to try to get something rolling here. Long second pitch, the bat to Davis, just low and outside, <clears throat> brings the count to one and one. Stephen Davis, sophomore, second baseman for Indians. Winds died down just a little bit. Flag starting to lay. One one pitch finds the outside corner. Davis finds himself in a 1-2 hole here. Bottom of the third inning of play. The CK heating, cooling, plumbing scoreboard. This game's tied at zero. Breaking ball, and Davis caught looking for out number two. Indians make their way to the top of the lineup with Rowan Donaldson. Donaldson struck out in his first at bat against Long. Got to help yourself out. Long with 29 pitches coming into this at bat. Appearing over the top of his glove. Delivery. Donaldson puts the barrel on the ball. And it's going to find its way into the gap. It's going to be a ground rule, ground rule double to the deepest part of left center. So Donaldson finds his way on first extra base hit tonight for either team. Yep, the Indians will have a runner at second with two outs here in the bottom half of the third. Still 0-0 zero, zero on the CK heating, cooling, and plumbing scoreboard. 
brings up Braden Gonzalez, right fielder for the Indians. <clears throat> Again, Rowan Donaldson at second with two outs. <clears throat> Got to find a way to produce a run here. It's gonna Donaldson, excuse me, as Gonzalez steps in, shows bunt, and sticks to it. Finds its way into no man's land, but Greenwood was able to cover right there. And the out there at first ends the inning. Yeah. Unable to produce a run right there as the Indians find themselves scoreless with Greenwood as we will go to the top of the fourth inning. We'll be back right after this. Freedom Bail Bonds offers fast and reliable assistance with surety bonds and we're open 24-7. Since 1985, we've been providing top-notch service and can help you every step of the way with utmost privacy, professionalism, and speed. A call to Freedom Bail Bond should be your first good decision when you or a loved one is involved in this type of unfortunate situation. Call us at 432-758-3234. Serving Gaines, Yoakum, Dawson, and Andrews Counties. Hi, I'm Rob Franklin. When I'm not doing games on the radio for the tribe, I work for West Texas Fire and Industrial Supply with City Janitorial right here in Seminole. We sell fire extinguishers, first aid, PPE, pressure washers, and a full line of cleaning and janitorial supplies. I'm a certified portable fire extinguisher inspector, and I can swap recharges and service them for you as well. Call me at 432-788-6400 or email me at rob at wtxsupply.com for West Texas Fire and City Janitorial. In Stitches and Designs, located at 1110 North Main in Seminole, specializes in custom embroidery and screen printing services. Our friendly staff will work with you to create what you need for your business, sports, and church events, along with any custom personalized needs. Now offering engraving. Custom engraved tumblers and travel mugs make great gifts for employees and loved ones. With a wide variety to choose from, there's something for everyone. Don't forget we offer promotional items such as banners, business business cards, pins, and more. For all your custom embroidery and screen printing services, call 432-758-6297 or 432-209-2094. That's In Stitches and Designs. Your vision in stitches. Rowan Donaldson still on the mound for the Indians as he'll face Zach Roybolt here at the top of the fourth inning of play. First pitch finds its way through the middle of the infield. And Roy Bolt safely gets the first base. Top of the fourth inning of play here. Lotto Pro Care scoreboard. Greenwood and Seminole tied at zero as Bo will give you our fourth inning sponsors. Our fourth inning sponsors Memorial Hospital, Pioneer Gen, Commercial Tire, Fernando's Body Shop, First United Bank, Hometown Convenience Store, Flying Aces. Flight School, Watson Construction, Tri-County Fast Bailing, BJ Pipe and Supply, and the Lumber Yard and Supply. Grayson Register, the batter for Greenwood, struck out in his first at bat. First pitch to Register. High towering fly ball finds its way outside the stadium here. Robert Ryan Field, West Texas Fire and City Janitorial foul ball. Zach Roy ball. Found his way between first and second with a solid ground ball. Gets on base for Greenwood here early. Again, Grayson Register, the center fielder for Greenwood at the plate. 0 and 1 the count. As Rowan Donaldson sets in. The pitch. Swung on a miss. For strike two is Roybalt. Still second. Able to just get in under the tag. Throw down there from. As many foul balls as there is in baseball in a ball game. Probably knew what he was doing in that plug, didn't he? He sure did. He sure did. 0 2 pitch to register. Finds its way in the dirt. Roy Ball almost got caught dancing between. Second and third, but makes his way back safely to the bag. 0-2 to Grayson Register. Greenwood center fielder. So we have a scoreless ball game here. Key district 
battle. Seminole looks to go to 2-0 in district play. Greenwood looks to find their first district win of the season as Donaldson pickoff attempt just a tad bit late. Davis was able to snag it and put a tag down, but Roy Ball was able to get in safely. You looking up your basketball scores there? Yeah. You got baseball to watch. It's baseball season. I had, I had to check Who on that. Who cares about that March Madness stuff? I had to check on that maroon team uh -oh. down a ways, you know. I got you. Well, it's not like I got three brackets and <laughs> going at the same time as Donaldson delivers a one-two pitch to register. Register fly ball gathered. He held up. And got the F8 on the scorebook there. Register flies out to center field. Able to hold Roy Ball there at second. Hey, but at the half, Gramlin only down nine. Josh Lopez showing off the arm a little bit there. Holding Roy Ball there at second base. One out in the top of the fourth inning of play. Brings up Jet Long, Greenwood pitcher. Donaldson looks back to Roy Balton, delivers a pitch. Looked on for strike one. It's found the outside corner of the plate. Long was able to work a full count into a walk in his first at bat. So officially, no at bats on the night. One out and a runner on second for Greenwood. Donaldson's pitch. High. For ball one, it's long, showed bunt. One and one the count, one out. Top of the fourth inning of play here at Robert Ryan Field. No score on the Auto Pro Care scoreboard. Donaldson gets a sign. Set, deliver. And the bunt attempt fouled back. One and two to Jet Long. Greenwood pitcher. Rowan Donaldson up to 49 pitches now through, through three and a half. Three and a half, yeah. Solid start so far. So giving up one hit, has one, two, three, four strikeouts to the unofficial book here. Swung on and fouled down the line, Jet Long. One and two the count, one out. Found a way to stay alive right there in the bat. Donaldson, as we talked about in the earlier innings, done a great job with this location. He had missed very much. Not very much. Uh, he had the one walk and the hit batter back to back, but after that he settled back in. Yeah. And an eight pitch first inning was great. Donaldson sets to deliver the one two pitch. Right down the middle. And Jet Long looks at strike three. Brings the second out of the inning. And Sawyer Morrow, the Greenwood right fielder, comes to the plate. He got hit on the hip <clears throat> in his last at bat. Well, two outs and a runner at second for Greenwood still. Roy Ball takes his lead as Donaldson's first pitch swung on a miss by Morrow. Morrow finds himself in an 0-1 hole. Rowan just blew that one straight by him. A lot of velocity on, on the fastball. As Donaldson looks back to Robalt again, the pitch. And Morrow finds himself in an 0-2 hole here. Two outs at the top of the fourth inning of play. Didn't do it again. I didn't change the scoreboard, man. Gonna we'll get fired for that. Oh, two pitch swung on a miss, and that'll retire the side for Greenwood. So after giving up a single in that inning, Greenwood goes down with a fly out and two strikeouts. We go to the bottom of the fourth in this scoreless contest here at Robert Ryan Field. We'll be right back after this. In a hurry and on the go, stop in at Hometown Convenience Store, 400 West Avenue A in Seminole. 
Grab your favorite soft drink, coffee, and snacks, and they have a great selection of snacks, such as chips, candy, peanuts, donuts, and much more. And save more when you buy two 8.4-ounce size of Red Bulls. Don't forget about our handy drive through window, and be sure to check out our fuel prices and fill up with high-quality Exxon fuel at Hometown Convenience Store. Have you ever thought about getting a pilot license? Well, think about it no more. Give Addison Espinosa, owner of Flying Aces Aviation, a call at 432-209-3547. Addison is a certified flight instructor, offering flight instruction classes with private lessons and beginner's classes. For more information, call Flying Aces Aviation today at 432-209-3547. You'll be glad you did. Quick and Clean, located at 412 Northwest 21st in Seminole, can handle all your oil and filter changes along with diesel fuel filter changes. And don't forget, Quick and Clean can also take care of your brake work needs, front end alignments, and minor auto repairs. For all your vehicle maintenance, give Quick and Clean a call today, 758-3923, for quality service and local guys that know you. That's Quick and Clean, 412 Northwest 21st in Seminole. Caton Kramer, Eloy Macias, and Jose Rosales to lead off the bottom of the fourth inning of play here for Seminole in this scoreless contest between Greenwood and the Indians. First pitch to Caton Kramer, swung on a miss for strike one. Kramer struck out in his first at bat for the Indians, batting in the three hole tonight. Jet Long delivers the 0-1 pitch. Just a little low. Well, Count moves to 1-1. One one. Taking part of that sensational sophomore class y'all have. Sure is. Good athletic group as Caton steps in. Crowd the plate just a little bit. And ball finds at the bottom of the strike zone and Umpire's going to have to shake that off just a little bit. Ball bounced up and caught him in the mask. It woke him up a little bit. <clears throat> Greenwood coach comes out and gives him a visit. Indians Jose Rosales the on deck, <laughs> actually in the hole batter, <laughs> comes and brings a bottle of water out to the umpires. We have a Gaines Jim time out here home plate umpires try to gather a little bit of composure he's ready to go gotta admire those boys in blue Yeah. step back there and get beat up game in game out we know they're not perfect on the calls but man we admire their courage as they get back there and call these games for these kiddos as Kayton Kramer looks in at a, another ball Brings count to three and one against Kramer. Well, way ahead. Sophomore third baseman for the Indians. As the Indians look to get a base runner on here. They got two hits on the night. Greenwood with one. As the three one pitch comes from Long, and it's ball four. Kramer finds himself on base for the first time tonight. Sophomore Eloy Macias comes to the plate. Indians look to take advantage of a base runner here. Macias looks down the third baseline to coach Chris Gonzalez going through his signals. Jet Long on the rubber. He's ready to get in there and get after it from the stretch to pitch. And ball outside wild. Ball one and Caton Kramer, more importantly, finds his way to scoring position. On Good the pass ball. Still 0-0 zero to zero here in the bottom half of the fourth. As Greenwood will take a quick break here. We'll take a quick Gaines Gym try timeout and run a commercial as Greenwood tries to figure out what's going on with Jet Long. 
Seminole schools strive to provide comprehensive educational services in our community. Whatever the educational need, we're committed to doing our best as a team to meet it. For more information on eligibility and programs, contact us at Seminole ISD. We're extremely proud of our students and their accomplishments in academics, FFA, band, choir, art, theater, speech, debate, cosmetology, Skills USA, and athletics. We're also a proud sponsor of Seminole Sports Broadcast for those unable to attend. Go Indians and Maidens! Having trouble with your water well? Give Tri-County Fast Bailing a call at 209-0765. Tri-County Fast Bailing can brush and bail the rust and sand away on existing wells or new wells. Tri-County Fast Bailing has the experience and knowledge with over 20 years of service in Seminole and the surrounding area. To get your well operating back at its full capacity, that number again, 209-0765. Tri-County Fast Bailing. Michael Whitehead makes his way out and talks with his pitcher, Jet Long. Long's 1-0 pitch to Eloy Macias. Finds again the bottom of the zone. And Macias facing two balls and no strikes here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Well, this is the best chance. We've got a runner at second with nobody out. Kaden Kramer with the lead. Watching in as Long delivers. For about the fourth straight pitch, Long has found himself low and outside on his delivery to the plate. Kramer makes his way over to third base on the low pass ball. And Macias facing a 3-0 and count against Jet Long, the starter for Greenwood tonight, who up until the this half inning has pitched pretty well. Yeah, both pitchers have pitched well, but 50. hey, you know, just put something in play right here and try to get Kramer home. And ball four. Runners on the corners now yes. with nobody out. Eloy Macias draws a walk after getting on base his first at bat with an E4. And Jose Rosales finds himself with a chance for an RBI. Catcher got on base. He had the Indians' first hit of the night, the game's first hit of the night, in the, top, in the bottom of the second inning with a uh, line drive out to uh, left field. Wind picks up again. He can't decide if it wants to settle down or pick back up as Rosales looks in and Jet Long calls time, steps off the rubber. Runners at the corner, Kramer at third. Macias at first, no outs, bottom of the fourth inning. Long's pitch to the plate, a ball, ball outside. He's tried to go for the double steal, but Greenwood pump fake and held Kramer at third, so now runners at second and third with no outs. Macias had the green light all the way on that right there. Now with runners at second and third, like Bo mentioned, no outs, perfect opportunity. A swing and a miss for Rosales. That was a big hack right there. Yeah, he was going for that one. One and one the count to the Indian catcher. So he looks down the line, gets his signals from Coach Chris Gonzalez. Steps back into the plate. And the one one pitch. Rosales turned to bunt. Pull back in time. Count moves to two and one. Indians looked to bunt earlier in the contest and didn't work out. Wasn't, wasn't able to work out for them in that situation. As Rosales looks in, two one count. The pitch high in the zone. Well, Brings the count to three and one. Long, almost in jeopardy of putting the bases loaded with no outs here to the Indians. Got to have a green light here if it's something hittable, but definitely want to be very cautious on your pitch selection here as the 3-1 pitch fouled straight back as Long works his way back into a full count against Jose Rosales, the Indian catcher. Senior leader for the Indians. 
fight off anything close here. Payoff pitch coming. Got a good hit. Out. And Bell the ball. That's going to fall in the left center gap. And that's going to score two. As Rosales drives in the game's first two runs. And the Seminole Indians take a 2-0 lead over Greenwood here in the bottom of the fourth inning of play on the Auto Pro Care scoreboard. That was a great spot to put that ball right there. Now you've got runner at second with no out still, and you've got a two to nothing lead now in this ball game. Rosales two for two tonight. Had the single there in the second inning of play, and that beautiful double right there through the gap here at Robert Ryan Field. As Obed Reyes steps into the plate. Short stop for the Indians. Looks at ball one. Jet long. <coughs> Looks like a little bit of the velocity is Tape falling right. off. Yeah. He's at 54 pitches. But they've been he's worked himself into some deep counts tonight against the Indians. Yeah, yes. 1 0 pitch fouled off. Greenwood first baseman looking but didn't have enough real estate to catch that one. That one made the bullpen. Luke Falls is the Greenwood first baseman. He's getting hit for tonight in the Greenwood lineup. I didn't have that written down on the other side. Another West Texas Fire Industrial Supply foul ball. So Reyes looks at the 1-1 pitch. Bunt's foul. Brings the count to one and two. Runner on second with nobody out. Indians lead Greenwood two to nothing here in the bottom of the fourth on the Auto Pro Care scoreboard. As Reyes looks, the pitch from Long swung on, fouled straight back, out of play. Indians come into this night on a Three-game winning streak. Three-game win streak. Opened up with a district win over Fort Stockton. Yeah, had a non-district win against Alpine and then a big non-district win against Abernathy. Oh, nice hit right up the middle. As Reyes sends a laser back That's up the middle score. and misplayed by the center fielder register. And Reyes, he's, gonna he's not the letting off the, the horse. And Reyes slides in head first for an inside the park home run. Four to nothing Indians. And your tribe has opened it up here in the bottom of the fourth inning of play. <coughs> Zobed Reyes scores the runner from second. And then ha happens to make himself away well, around to score himself. Technically, I would rule that as a e double yeah. E8. So... I'm going to pad the stats a little bit. And on air, I'm going to give him inside the parker. But this, this might be it for long tonight, and it is. So. It is. That's the second mound visit of the inning for Greenwood. So we're going to take a quick Gaines Gym timeout. We'll catch the pitching change and get that back to you here on KSM 106.3 YouTube coverage of Seminole Indian Baseball. For all your abstract and title service needs, you can depend on Gaines County Abstract Company located 207 South Main in Seminole. Gaines County Abstract Company is the original title company in Gaines County with complete records that date back to the 1800s. So give them a call at 758-3351 for fast turnaround with over 160 years of combined experience along with in-house attorneys, quality abstract and title service since 1911. Commercial Tire Service located at 1100 Hobbs Highway in Seminole is your complete tire service center. Commercial Tire Service carries Goodyear and Firestone Ag Tires, Cooper, Nito, and Michelin Tires for passenger cars, trucks, and SUVs. You always get great service and great prices. We can also take care of your front end alignment needs, oil and filter changes, brake jobs, and much more. And don't forget Commercial Tire Service offers 24-hour road service. Just call 758-9477 or 758-1390. BJ Pipe and Supply in Lovington wants to bring back great customer service by providing oil field parts and service to our customers. We've been serving the heroes of the Permian Basin since 2010. We help keep your pumping units producing and so much more. 
Come see us in Lovington, New Mexico at 1105 East Avenue D or call 575-552-1003 for BJ Pipe and Supply. Zach Raybalt Take comes in. Well, I push stop that for current. Today yeah. for we'll stop. We'll stop it right line. there. We'll come back to that commercial here in just a little bit. Rob's going to give me heck about that. You know that? That'd be all right. He does it too. I've done it. <laughs> we all do it. Raybalt. Ray Balt, Ray Balt, we'll get the correct pronunciation of it here in just a minute. Facing uh, Ray Balt, there we go. Josh Lopez, his first Indian at batter of the evening. Fouled off for 1-0 pitch and second pitch the at bat. Swung on a miss by Lopez. And a hole 0-2 now. Still no outs in the inning. Bases cleared for the Indians. It's the 0-2 pitch, grounded to third. Jet Long gathers and makes a throw across the diamond for out number one here in the bottom of the fourth. The Indians leading four to nothing over Greenwood. It's Eloy Macias and Caton Kramer scored on a Jose Rosales double, which was followed by a double and an error by Obed Reyes that scored two runs. As Woody Duncan, the designated hitter for the Indian steps to the plate. Holds up on that one. Roy Balt's first pitch low in the zone for ball one. One-oh pitch outside for ball two. <clears throat> Ray Bolt, a right-hander. Works from the windup. Works from the right side of the rubber. First base side of the rubber, as I should say. So 2 1 pitch finds the outside corner for strike one. 1 and 2 to Woody Duncan, senior designated hitter. He looks at strike two. Now we're even at 2 2. One out, nobody on. Wind appears to have died down again as the 2-2 pitch comes in. Off speed. High in the air. Center field. Register underneath. Textbook two-handed catch for out number two. As Woody Duncan flew out to left field. His first at bat. Center field. Second at bat. And Steven Davis, the sophomore second baseman, comes up. With two outs, Davis struck out in his first at bat. It's Ray Balt's first pitch. Finds the dirt. 1-0 the count to Steven Davis. Ray Balt's pitch. Again, low and outside. 2-0 the count. Two outs. Indians have plated four runs this bottom half of the inning. Two hits. One error. Ray Balt delivers. Swung on by Davis. In first base foul territory, and the first baseman gathers it. Luke falls and retires aside, but not before four runs on two hits and one error. No runners left on base. At the end of four, Seminole four, Greenwood nothing. We'll be right back. Take a break from the ordinary and drive into Sonic in Seminole today for a refreshing Coca-Cola. While you're there, try one of our delicious hot dogs. To make it even better, top your meal off with an extraordinary real ice cream shake. Don't forget to take advantage of our happy hour from 2 to 4 p.m. daily for half-price drinks and slushes, especially Coca-Cola. This is How You Sonic. Coach Jackson for Permian Basin Abstract Company. Yeah, this is Coach Kent Jackson, and I know our experience uh, dealing with Permian Basin Abstract was uh, first class uh, in the coaching business. Elizabeth and I have had an opportunity to buy several houses, and uh, but I know this was absolutely the easiest experience that we've ever had. Trey and his staff there made us feel at home, and the service was very professional, yet very uh, hometown friendly, and uh, we highly recommend dealing with Permian Basin Abstract. Exceeding expectations in customer service is their specialty. Permian Basin Abstract company. Rowan Donaldson comes out for his fifth inning of work here 
Robert Ryan Field. Well, he really hasn't been in a bind all night. Has not been in a bind. 54 pitches on the night. And a 4-0 Indian lead over Greenwood here in District 4-3A play. Much needed break right there. That last half inning for the Indians. Again, scored four runs on two hits and one error. Giving Donaldson some breathing room. It's Cale Bingham, the designated hitter for Greenwood, comes to the plate. Cale in his last at bat struck out sw uh, looking. It's Donaldson's first pitch fouled straight back into the net. I think if it wouldn't have made it through the net, old Jeremy Wright over there might have had that play. <laughs> yeah, it was coming right toward the window. Wouldn't have messed up his luscious locks, you know that? No, oh, they're looking pretty <laughs> fresh over <laughs> there, huh? Looking, looking pretty ragged right there. <laughs> Welcome back to KSEM 106.3 YouTube coverage of Seminole Indian Baseball. It's Donaldson prepares to deliver the 0-1 pitch to Kel Bingham, and Bingham looks at strike two. Seven-hole hitter for Greenwood finds himself in an 0-2 hole. A good pitch. 56 pitches on the night for Donaldson. Working at a pretty good clip. The 0-2 pitch in the dirt for ball one. One and two to Kale Bingham. Greenwood designated hitter. He's hitting for first baseman Luke Fails. From the left side of the box. A little bit of a crowd to the plate as Donaldson delivers a 1-2 pitch. Low and inside has to brush back Bingham. Brings the count to 2-2. Two and two. Nobody on, nobody out. <clears throat> Indian defense in the middle. They're playing back kind of back of the dirt as the 2-2 two -two pitch swung on and missed for strike three. Donaldson, second strike out of the night. Brings up Parker Compton, the left fielder for Greenwood. Compton struck out in his first at bat. That's Donaldson's one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh strikeout of the evening. As the opening pitch finds its way just above the Greenwood dugout. Surprised Rob doesn't have a hook up there in the ceiling with a headlamp hanging down. No, that <laughs> that knucklehead has a miner's light. <laughs> and he's proud of it too. And we can make fun of him again because Rob's not here tonight. Oh one one pitch outside of the zone for ball one. Yeah, if you're just now tuning in and you're wondering why this redneck is calling the ball game tonight, it's because Rob Franklin is emceeing the Seminole Area Chamber of Commerce banquet. Man with many hats. I'm saying he's still running his mouth, though. <laughs> as, as, as Bo eloquently <laughs> put it, Franklin is running his mouth somewhere tonight. It's just not here on YouTube. 2-1 count to Parker Compton. And Compton looks at strike two, two and two the count. 61 pitches. Or am I, am I off one? We're working on it. Either way, two strike pitch. Foul back. back and out of play. As Compton looks to find his way on the base pass. Again, he struck out in his first at bat. One of seven strikeouts for Donaldson on the night. Donaldson takes a signal, delivers, mm. just a little under music. the chin, sweet chin music right there. They'll back him off a little bit now, go get him. Scoreboard has 2-2 two -two count, we'll go with that. Since the, now we're going with 3-2 count, full count, we'll call it full count. Donaldson's delivery. Back up the middle for Compton, gathered by Reyes and across the diamond for 
out number two. Boy, the Indian defense in the middle has just played smooth baseball tonight so far. And great. Open, open head. That's, that's a lot of range right there. <laughs> they moved a long way. Sure there to did. The, to Six left. to three on your scorebook if you're keeping it at home. Brings up Bryce Giles, the nine-hole hitter for Greenwood. Top of the fifth inning, Greenwood trailing Seminole. I should say Seminole leading Greenwood. Four to nothing on the Auto Pro Care scoreboard. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors for covering Seminole and Indian Maiden athletics this season. The 1 0 pitch finds its way to the outside part of the box. Gets the left hander Giles. Giles finds himself in a fortunate 2 0 count. Two outs. Greenwood looking to get a base runner on, trying to get something to produce. What do we got around the district tonight? You got any scores coming I do in? have some scores. I, I've kept my phone on silent for a purpose because I didn't want folks harassing me. Trying to, I'm kind of a one-track mind kind of guy. In the middle of a fifth inning of play, Andrews four, Pecos two. And then after four, strike, call. strike call right there to Bryce Giles. And after four innings of play, Fort Stockton won. Monahan's nothing. That's baseball action. Softball action across the way. Maidens walked off. Greenwood 6-5. to five. It's a 3-1 oh, count. It. Delivery to Bryce Giles. Swung on a miss. Full count. Bryce Giles. Catcher for Greenwood. Two outs. Trying to get something started for Greenwood here as Donaldson delivers. Swung on a miss. Good job. For his eighth strikeout of the night. Greenwood goes down. One, two, three in the top of the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Your Indians leading Greenwood four to nothing. We'll be right back. There are tires, and then there's BF Goodrich tires. For the passionate driver, BF Goodrich light truck tires strive to deliver outstanding all-terrain traction, rugged dependability, a quiet highway ride, and the bold look you want for your rig. Don't just get tires that fit your truck, get tires that transform it. Ask about BF Goodrich light truck tires today at Howard McCaleb Tire in Seminole. Howard McCaleb Tire has the expert tire service you need to take your car's performance to the next level. Specific performance may vary by tire model. Dr. Michael Q. Watson, MD, is located at 208 Northwest 8th Street in Seminole. Dr. Watson is available for all general medical practice and obstetrics. For excellent health care, call Dr. Michael Q. Watson, 758-3267 for an appointment, and walk-ins are always welcome. Dr. Watson accepts most commercial insurance, Medicaid, Medicare, and is board certified for DOT physicals. Located across from Memorial Hospital. Oasis Gin and Oasis Warehouse are proud supporters of the Seminole Maidens and Indians. We'd like to wish the Maidens and Indians the best of luck for their successful season. Please come see the friendly staff at Oasis Gin for all your ginning, marketing, and warehouse needs. Oasis Gin and Oasis Warehouse appreciate your business. If you believe it, you can achieve it. Good luck to the Maidens and Indians. Oasis Gin and Oasis Warehouse. Seminole leads Greenwood. Four to nothing, the bottom of the fifth inning of play here on KSM 106.3 YouTube coverage of Seminole Indian Baseball. Rowan Donaldson swings on the first pitch. High fly ball, right fielder gathers it for Greenwood. Morrow hauls that in for out number one as Rowan Donaldson, one pitch and one out. Brings up Braden Gonzalez. Indian right fielder. Indians lead Greenwood four to nothing. We'll call this the Silver Star Insurance scoreboard as the first pitch to Gonzalez inside for ball one. Zach Raybolt, pitcher for Greenwood, comes in relief of Jet Long, who, if this score holds, will be credited with the loss tonight as the 1-0 pitch finds its way low in the zone for ball two. Gonzalez 0 for 2 on the night with a fly out to center field. 
And a buck ground out to the pitcher in the third inning of play as pitch three of the at-bat finds its way in the middle of the zone for strike. Two and one, the count to Gonzalez. Mm. Nice framework right there by the catcher, but Didn't umpire wasn't fooled. Three and one, the count to Braden Gonzalez as Ray Bolt having a tough time with the bottom of the zone. 3-1 pitch inside, and Gonzalez makes his way to the base path with a walk. And Caden Kramer, sophomore third baseman for the Indians, will make his way to the plate. 0 for 1 on the night with a strikeout and a walk there in the fourth inning, the fourth inning that Scored produced four run. runs yep, he was for the, the Indians. Run. He was the leadoff. So it's yellow gloves. Those flashy yellow gloves down there. His first pitch. Off speed finds its way outside the zone. 1 0 the count to Caton Kramer. Kramer can fill up the batter's box. Lengthy guy. As Ray Balt checks on Braden Gonzalez. Make sure he doesn't gather too far away from first base. Gonzalez with a sizable lead. As the 1-0 pitch swung on and missed by Caton Kramer. One out one, and a runner on first. Yeah, one and one the count. One out. Four to nothing. Seminole over Greenwood. So Ray Ball checks and delivers. Breaking ball finds its way again in the bottom of the zone. Kramer facing a 2-1 count. 21 pitches for Ray Balt thus far. Come in in the middle of the last inning. And the 2-1 pitch finds the outside corner for strike two. Two and two the count to Caden Kramer. Kramer crowned the plate. Typical stance for the sophomore. As he looks down and calls for time and is granted. It's Ray Balt playing the mind game, trying to throw the timing off. Ray Balt takes to the rubber and looks in. Gonzalez takes his lead at first. And the 2 2 pitch. Swung on and missed. And that's out number two for the Indians. As Kramer cannot advance on the strikeout. Yeah, two outs now and a runner on first for the Indians. Sophomore Eloy Macias up to the plate for the Indians. Eloy got on base with a walk last inning. Got on base in the second inning thanks to a defensive error by the second baseman for Greenwood. Two outs, Gonzalez... Sent back to first on the pickoff attempt by Ray Balt. Ray Balt working from the first base side of the rubber. Got the navy blue arm sleeve. His first pitch to Macias low and outside for ball one. Greenwood catcher Bryce Giles done a pretty good job tonight behind the plate. Keeping, for the most part, everything that he can in front of him. So 1 0 pitch comes in, swung on, fouled out. Hit and run was on. Hit and run, as Bo alluded to, was on for the Indians. Evens the count at 1 1 to the batter, sophomore Eloy Macias, first baseman for the Indians. Indians sporting the uh, knee high socks. Coming back into style. That's that's late ninety style right there, man. That's that's my era. One and one count. Ray Balt finds the zone and Macias fouls it off. Just a hair late. They have to go back a little further to get to the two piece socks. <laughs> that would be my brother's era. <laughs> that would be my brother's era. One and two the count to 
Eloy Macias. Braden Gonzalez takes his lead at first. Zach Raybalt's pitch to the plate. And Macias fouls it down the line just outside the foul line. First base side of the field. Still looking at the flag out in center field. and It can't decide if it wants to be up or down. Of course, you can catch it on the crowd mic here that Bo yeah. brought us. So. A little, a little bit. One and two count, two outs. Macias waiting the pitch. Swung on. Fly ball. A little bit of trouble for Greenwood, but the second baseman, Finch, hauls that in and out number three for the Indians. No runs, no hits, one stranded. At the end of five, Greenwood trails Seminole four to nothing. We'll be right back after this. Silver Star Insurance Agency, located at 113 Southwest Avenue C in Seminole, specializes in crop and crop health insurance. Silver Star has the personnel in place to make sure you get the right and necessary coverage for all your crop insurance needs. Proudly serving your West Texas community, when it's time to get your crop insurance, Call the professionals at Silver Star Insurance 758-2223 or stop by the office. A Fernando's Body Shop located at 511 South Main in Seminole has the experience and knowledge to handle all your auto body repair needs, windshield replacement, hail damage, repair, complete paint jobs, and insurance estimates. So call the experts 758-3171. That's Fernando's Body Shop, a proud supporter of the Seminole Indians and Maidens, serving Seminole and the surrounding area for over 30 years. That's Fernando's Body Shop, 511 South Main. The cold weather is arriving once again, and now's the time to insulate your home. Give A&P Supply a call and get all the details about attic insulation, along with many other types of insulation to make your home much more energy efficient. If you've been thinking about improving the exterior or interior of your home with something new, ask about Versetta Stone. And now to serve you better, A&P Supply is now open on Saturday, 8 a.m. to noon. A&P Supply, four miles north of Seminole, just off the Seagraves Highway, or call 955-0007. Rowan Donaldson comes out for his sixth, to start his sixth inning of work with a 4-0 cushion as the Tribe leads the Greenwood Rangers here in District 3 4A play, we welcome you back to Indian Baseball coverage on KSEM 106.3, YouTube only tonight, as Greenwood's Dylan Dominguez steps in for his third at bat of the evening. Dominguez grounded out to second, struck out in his two previous plate appearances. This will be Rowan's 70, uh, second pitch. Still hitting the zone. Strike. Outside part of the plate is <clears throat> Dominguez doesn't even take a poke at it. Donaldson setting from the stretch. The 0 1 pitch outside, same spot, just a little low. Evens the count at 1 and 1. So far, pretty clean ball game. Very clean ball game. The Indians have done a good job backing him up when it's put into play. Indian outfield playing. Middle of the field, not too far back, not too shallow. As the 1-1 one -one pitch swung on a miss by Dylan G Dominguez. I'm, you know, I made fun of that miner's hat that Rob had, mm -hmm. or miner's light. I may need that. I'm working on it. Starting to get a little dark. Starting to get a little dark here. One to the count to Dylan Dominguez as Donaldson's pitch swung on, gathered, and throw, ooh, bang, bang play. But Dominguez with an infield single. That'll be their first hit in a while. That is their first hit, second hit of the ball game. As Obed Reyes was just a tad bit late on the throw to first base. The infield single finds its way to Dylan Dominguez on the score sheet. So we have a brief Gaines Gym timeout right here. Be sure to visit them at 610 Southeast 2nd here in Seminole where you can work out, grab a protein shake, and start your day off or night off however you want to. So,
Britton Finch. Batter for Greenwood. Four to nothing Indian lead. We'll give it to the MS Back Cohen Services scoreboard here. So we've worked through all of our fine sponsors. Hit and run on for Greenwood. That ball was slap foul. First base side of play. And Britton Finch finds himself in an 0-1 hole against Rowan Donaldson. Finch, 0 for 2 on the night. Fly out to first base in his last at bat. As Donaldson works. Stretch, pitch, high, ball outside, and Dylan Dominguez on the pitch out, able to slide safely into second with the steal. Stolen base for Dylan Dominguez as he finds himself in running or in scoring position for Greenwood yep. and Fitch with a 1 1 count. Yeah, nobody out and a runner at second for Greenwood. Finch, the right-hander, twirls the bat, waiting for Donaldson to deliver. 1-1 one, one pitch, swung on. Big hack right there by Finch. Finds himself in a 1-2 hole. 4 to nothing. Seminole over Greenwood in the top of the sixth inning of play. Robert Ryan Field here in Seminole. Sun completely down. As Donaldson delivers, swung on. Donaldson with his ninth strikeout of the night. And if you haven't seen the facelift of the press box here driving by, it looks really nice. You know, it's on my way home, and the first day that I saw it, it really caught my eye. They did a great job with updating this part of the facility. And over the years in general, you know, the work that's been done here to Robert Ryan Field has just been amazing. As Zach Raybolt steps in, the pitcher of record for – Greenwood right now. He looks at the first pitch outside for ball one. Donaldson with 79 pitches on the evening, nine strikeouts. Currently holding a 4-0 lead against Greenwood. Indians looking to go to 2-0 in district play. After an extra innings win on the road at Fort Stockton, his 1-0 pitch was out inside for ball two and Dylan Dominguez on the straight steal makes his way safely to great, third base. Great job by Obed Reyes at shortstop to back up a third baseman getting over there in a hurry because if he wouldn't have been there, that would have scored a run for Greenwood. But one out and a runner at third now for Greenwood. Jose Reyes <coughs> had, the, had the speed to get the runner out, just was a little wide on his throw down to third base out of the reach of Caton Kramer, 2-0 pitch, swung on big hack right there by Raybalt. Raybalt can fill up a uniform, good-sized kid. Two balls, one strike against Raybalt. Runner at third, that's Dylan Dominguez. Dominguez with a, about a three or four step lead. Donaldson's pitch outside, three and one the count. Well, that's the Crucial at bat right here for Greenwood. <clears throat> this is the furthest we've seen him behind in a while. Donaldson in a 2-1 hole with one out. 83rd pitch to come for the Indian starter. Swung on, foul down to the right field side. Out of play. That'll bring the count full. I think it's or three two, two and two. I think it's three two. Maybe got me second guessing over here. We'll go with two and two on the scoreboard out in the left field here at Robert Ryan Field. Two and two, the count. Donaldson sets and delivers. Swung on chopper to short. Reyes gathers. Indians are going to let the run score and get the six to three out. Four to one now on the MS Backo and Services scoreboard here in the top half of the sixth inning. Two outs now, though, on Greenwood. Dylan Dominguez with the single to lead off the inning. 
Two stolen bases and then able to score on the sacrifice right there by Zach Raybal. Brings up Grayson Register, the center fielder for Greenwood. He's 0 for 2 on the evening. As he looks at pitch number one, it's a ball. Grayson struck out in the second, flew out to center field in the fourth in his only two plate appearances of the evening. Donaldson looks to deliver the 1-0 pitch. High for ball two. Boy, that little microphone sensitive. You can hear that it glove sure popping. Is. It sure is. It's picking up everything out there. Sure hope somebody doesn't cuss. <laughs> we are on YouTube, so they got a little bit more leniency there as the 2-0 pitch swung on. Ooh, caught, the, caught the umpire. And the yeah. umpire, bless his heart, got caught again with the foul ball. Earlier in the contest, he took a – That one staggered him a little bit. <laughs> he took a pitch off the dirt and into the mask. This one come off the barrel of the bat and caught him on the left arm. So Greenwood coach and Indian coach Chris Gonzalez come out and give him a little break. First, umpire, first base umpire goes and speaks to Rowan Donaldson. Indians just four outs away from getting out of this ball game with a win. We got a Gaines Gym timeout here. Also, I'd like to thank our other live read sponsors, the Rusty Cricket, Corbin's Archery, the, the, the Design Shop, boy, say that fast, <laughs> Gardner's Motor, Motorsports, Gaines Gym, West Texas Fire and Safety. They sponsor the foul balls. Uh, Freedom Bell Bonds for the big plays, and there's been a couple here tonight. We haven't mentioned them with the Freedom Bell Bonds <laughs> ad, but yeah. Angie will forgive us for that. Dr. Amy Williams, DDS. And J. Kim Catalyst, who's bringing you the live feed on YouTube. I thought I was listening to One Take Dave for a minute. Well, <laughs> yeah, you were. <laughs> we, we love us some Dave Fisher. So we get by, back to live action here. And we have gone into the ditch a little bit. Grayson Register facing a 2-1 count. Well, we haven't missed a half an inning broadcasting tonight though y so you are correct didn't have to step out on the patio well, you are correct <laughs> as Grayson works his way to a 3-1 count against Rowan Donaldson two outs swung on big hack right there by Register caught a little bit of the bat right there Tell you but what. brings the count three to two two Dave, outs Dave does a good job what he does at the station he sure Boy, does he keeps Dave. it going don't he Dave's been a pillar of the Seminole media community for a long time. The 3-2 pitch from Donaldson swung on. And another strikeout for Rowan Donaldson. One run on one hit. Nobody left on. After five and a half, Seminole four, Greenwood one. We'll be right back. Pioneer Gin is proud to be a part of Gaines County and the agricultural industry. You can trust your cotton to Pioneer Gin this coming season. The trained professionals at Pioneer Gin take pride in the turnout and the quality of your cotton. Come out and talk to the professionals at Pioneer Gin. We're 19 miles west of Seminole, just off the Hobbs Highway, or just give us a call at 758-3822. West Texas National Bank has 52 ATMs to serve your banking needs from Big Spring to Terlingua and north to Seminole, Denver City, and Plains. Great news, WTNB has even faster, easier, and more secure ways for you to pay with our latest digital wallet options. Talk to an experienced professional today for your ag equipment, farm, ranch, home, and auto loans. That's West Texas National Bank in Seminole, your one-stop financial institution. Member FDIC, an equal opportunity lender. Here to care for you in every stage of life, Seminole Memorial Hospital offers state-of-the-art technology and small-town hospitality. Our dedicated staff is here to give you compassionate quality care you deserve. We strive to provide our patients with comfort and confidence in their treatment during their time of need.
It's nice to have a neighbor you can trust, someone who can look out for you and your family in good times and bad. If you need legal counsel, you can count on Marlon D. Carter, attorney at law for your legal service needs. For family and criminal law, personal injury, wills and estates, as well as a variety of other legal services. Mr. Carter lives and works with you right here in Seminole. He cares about you and our community. His office is located 118 Southeast Avenue B, across the street from the courthouse. He can be reached at 432-758-2181 or by email Marlon at MarlinCarterLaw.com. Se habla español. Freedom Bail Bonds offers fast and reliable assistance with surety bonds and we're open 24-7. Since 1985, we've been providing top-notch service and can help you every step of the way with utmost privacy, professionalism, and speed. A call to Freedom Bail Bond should be your first good decision when you or a loved one is involved in this type of unfortunate situation. Call us at 432-758-3234, serving Gaines, Yoakum, Dawson, and Andrews Counties. Hi, I'm Rob Franklin. When I'm not doing games on the radio for the tribe, I work for West Texas Fire and Industrial Supply with City Janitorial right here in Seminole. We sell fire extinguishers, first aid, PPE, pressure washers, and a full line of cleaning and janitorial supplies. I'm a certified portable fire extinguisher inspector and I can swap recharges and service them for you as well. Call me at 432-788-6400 or email me at rob at wtxsupply.com for West Texas Fire and City Janitorial. Reagan Birchfield comes in relief for Greenwood. In the bottom of the sixth inning of play as your Seminole Indians lead the Greenwood Rangers 4-1. to one. Welcome back to KSEM 106.3. YouTube coverage of Seminole Indian Baseball. Glad you're with us. As Jose Rosales steps into the plate for the Indians. And his first pitch from Birchfield. High for ball one. Four to one. Seminole over Greenwood here in District 3-4A play as Birchfield's 1-0 pitch. Swung on and missed by the senior catcher, Jose Rosales. Let's see if I can bring up some district scores. After six, Andrews four, Pecos two as Rosales swings and fouls off the one-one count. Brings the count one and two. Andrews four, Pecos two through six. And another district play after six innings of play, Greenwood, uh, excuse me, Fort Stockton won, Monaghan's nothing. Wow, Good ball close. game down there. Yeah. As a 1-2 pitch finds its way to the top of the zone. 2-2 two -two count. Gains Jim timeout is have a little pitcher-catcher conference at the mound, trying to go over signs, trying to get Reagan Birchfield a little settled down. He come out a little wild. We've got the first activity we've seen today up in the bullpen down there on the can't, Seminole side. Can't quite catch the number down there, but Rowan Donaldson, 92 pitches and double-digit strikeouts tonight. Done a great job on the mound. It's a 2-2 pitch swung on and a line drive single at least for Jose Rosales. Rosales goes three for three on the night. He was a big starter of that fourth inning of play for the Indians. So he drove in two runs, two of the four runs. Yeah, we go back to the top of the order now, don't we? Uh, we're Obed Reyes. We're at the we're okay. in the sixth hole. This pinch runner comes in for the Indians. I believe that's Derek Madrid, the junior, replacing the catcher as courtesy runner. And Obed Ray is up to the plate. As Madrid takes the lead and raises first pitch high for ball one. Four to one, Indians over Greenwood. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning of play. We'll give it to the CK Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing scoreboard. As Birchfield looks in, very deliberate. And the 1 0 pitch swung on, fouled straight back. West Texas Fire and Industrial Supply foul ball right there. 
Indians got a runner on first with nobody out. Derek Madrid, the courtesy runner for the Indians at first after the leadoff single from Jose Rosales. Again, went three for three on the night. Two singles and a double. Two runs scored, two RBIs. Big play right there. Freedom Bell Bonds there in the fourth inning by the senior catcher is Obed awaiting the 1-1 pitch right down Main Street for strike two. Birchfield very deliberate on the mound. All arms and legs. Senior pitcher. 1-2 pitch. Mm. Get out of the way. Just above the plastic helmet right there. As Reyes finds his way to the deck. Smartly pulls the bat down. Kind of tough to teach them young players to pull that bat yeah, down when you're trying to bail away. out. 2-2 two -two pitch. Got him. And Reyes is going to wear it on the back of his jersey. Finds a free way to the base pass. Two runners on, and it's not free, as it's mentioned from down the media row here. <laughs> he earned that one. Yeah, he he found it right there on the shoulder blade. <clears throat> as Josh Lopez, center fielder for the Indian, steps to the plate. Senior center fielder. He drove in a run and then scored. <clears throat> On an, on an error by the center fielder. So he had a double there in the fourth. Yeah, you got runners at first and second. Nobody out. Could turn in another big inning. Could be. Late. As Lopez swings on the first pitch, fouled off. Into the grassland between Robert Ryan Field and Seminole ISD Softball Stadium where the Seminole Maidens beat Greenwood tonight six to five in a walk-off fashion. Get back on track. After falling in a 0-3 hole in district play, got their first district win tonight. It's a 1-0 pitch from Birchfield. Finds the bottom of the zone. 1-1 one one the count to Josh Lopez, senior center fielder. Derek Madrid, second base, courtesy runner. And Obed Reyes at first as the Indians have two runners on. Still hit and run in action there for the Indians. Long fly ball caught by the center fielder register on the run. Yeah, that was a good catch. That was a good catch. I thought he might have lost it there in the lights, but register able to haul that one in. Out number one for the Indians. Runner stay put. If that had failed, that possibility possibly could have scored two runs yeah. for sure one as Woody Duncan the senior defensive I mean designated here excuse me steps to the plate one out time called Greenwood catcher wants to go and have another visit with Reagan Birchfield who was a substitution between the innings for Zach Raybalt and they're wanting to check. Oh. He touched the base. Hmm. They were checking to see if the runner had touched the base. He touched the base. And on the check, their base umpire called out. And Indian coach Chris Gonzalez going out to get an explanation of the call. Now, I didn't see on the play there if Dylan Madrid excuse me, Derek Madrid, rounded third and was heading towards home. Trying to figure out here what the call is. Ah, okay, now we got an explanation. So Obed Reyes was the player called out. Obed rounded second, heading to yep, third on the play right there. Over it. And he stepped straight over the base. You've got to touch the base if you cross the base path. And you got to retrace your steps, and he didn't do that. So 
great awareness right there by Greenwood to see that. So Reyes will be out number two for the Indians as a Ooh. ground ball up the middle right the by shin. Woody Duncan off the shin of the Greenwood pitcher. And that's going to go down as a single for Woody Duncan as he gets on base. And Birchfield going to get checked by Greenwood coach Whitehead. So we take a quick Gaines Gym timeout right here. We'll be right back after this. The Travel Center Corner Store, located just west of the high school and Hobbs Highway, is open 24-7 for your convenience. Whatever you need, the Travel Center Corner Store probably has it. Cold deli, hot deli, burritos, pizza, fountain drinks, coffee, grocery items, quality Valero fuel, and a rewards program to save you even more. Stop in anytime and be sure to check us out at cornerstoretx.com. People's Bank is your hometown bank that is a proud supporter of our local schools. People's Bank is a community bank. We are proud to be in the Seminole community. At People's Bank, we are about quick loan decisions, great customer service, and building relationships with all of our... We'll come back to the People's Bank ad on our next commercial break as we get back to live action here at Robert Ryan Field. Bottom of the sixth inning of play, Seminole leads Greenwood 4-1. to one with runners at the corners and two outs. And Steven Davis at the plate. Davis's first pitch swung on. High fly ball, center field. Gathered by the center fielder from Greenwood for out number three. And that'll retire the side, but not before the Indians take a 3-1 lead into the top of the seventh inning of play. We'll be right back right after this. People's Bank is your hometown bank that is a proud supporter of our local schools. People's Bank is a community bank. We are proud to be in the Seminole community. At People's Bank, we're about quick loan decisions, great customer service, and building relationships with all of our customers. Stop by and see us at our location in Seminole, visit us on the web at peoplesbanktexas.com, or give us a call at 432-245-6180. Good luck to the Seminole Indians and Maidens this season. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Brock Morris and Christy Morris are proud to be a part of Seminole and are here to help you with your health care needs. Brock and Christy are certified family nurse practitioners. Brock specializes in family medical practice, joint injections for shoulder and knee pain, and DOT physicals. Christy specializes in family medical practice, women's health, and dermatology. Brock and Christy are now accepting new patients and are located in the clinic at Seminole Memorial Hospital. For appointments, call 758-4711 or 7 if you or your spouse have been thinking about pre-planning your final arrangements, Ratliff Funeral Homes of Seminole, Denver City, Seagraves, and Brownfield can assist you to pre-plan the services you choose and will relieve the financial burden from your loved ones. If you already have a plan, let us review it with you. Call or come by any of the Ratliff Funeral Home locations in Seminole, Denver City, Seagraves, and Brownfield. Eloy Macias comes to the mound tonight to replace Rowan Donaldson after a wonderful job on the mound for the Indians. And a 4-1 to lead over the Greenwood Rangers here in District 3-4A play here at Robert Ryan Field. Yeah, he pitched well tonight. Did he hit double-digit strikeouts he tonight? He did. I was going to try to count that up before our first pitch here, but I'm not going to get that done as Jet Long steps in against Macias and his first pitch swung on a miss for strike one. Donaldson with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten strikeouts on the night, 92 pitches. On the mound, two pitch, high and outside. Most hitters would take a pitch, take a big cut at that. I was notorious for it back in my playing days. It's a one-two pitch, soft speed. Just couldn't find its way into the zone. And now Jet Long has worked himself into a two-two count. Let's see who do the Indians play next? Seminole will go on the road Tuesday night and play Monahan's 7 p.m. pitch. 
from Lobo Field is Macias with some velocity. Strikeout number one for him tonight. Out number one here in the top of the seventh inning of play. As Sawyer Morrow, the right fielder for Greenwood, comes in. Last chance for Greenwood. Try to get something started with the sophomore Eloy Macias. First pitch grounded to short. Obed Reyes gathers, but his throw just a little late. Infield single for Sawyer Morrow. That puts Morrow on for Greenwood with one out. And Cale Bingham. Oh, we do have a substitution. Do we have a substitution here? Yes, we do. Let me get my roster here. Number one. Number one. Luke fails. Luke, who is getting designated hit for by Bingham, steps to the plate. Takes a signal from Coach Whitehead from Greenwood. As the Indians move to double play depth in the middle of the infield and Gaines Gym timeout called here as Eloy Macias is going to talk with his catcher, Jose Rosales. Try to get on the same page here. Two more outs. Four. I'm sure the senior is just saying, hey, calm down, put it over the plate. Let the defense back you up right there. Reyes just caught himself in a hole right there and wasn't able to get that ball across the diamond quick enough. Infield single by Sawyer Morrow with one out to start this top of the seventh. As Fells looks in to Macias, Macias' pitch swung on and missed as the hit and run was on right there. And Sora Morrow still second base. Yep, runner at second now for Greenwood with one out in the inning. Sawyer stills on the straight. Oh one count to Luke Fails. Greenwood, first baseman. As Macias looks. And delivers. Just outside the zone, one and one the count to Luke Fells, the first baseman for Greenwood. It's a sophomore, Eloy Macias. Looks to have his ninth pitch of the inning. Coming in relief of Rowan Donaldson. Donaldson with 92 pitches on the night. Ten strikeouts, I believe only gave up one to two hits. To Greenwood is 1-1 one, one pitch fouled off and way out of play. West Texas firing industrial foul ball right there. Give Rob one more shout out. If you need some fire extinguishers, inspections, safety supplies, pressure washers, and much more, email Rob at Rob at WTXsupply.com. He'll get you taken care of. If not, he'll just come by and talk to you. Yeah, he'll talk to you. He likes to do that quite a bit. <coughs> Macias looks back at second and delivers the one-two pitch two outs, for huh? strikeout number two of the inning for Macias. Out number two and brings up Parker Compton. Last chance the for Greenwood. The left fielder, last chance for Greenwood. Try to scratch something out here. They need three runs to even it up. And they're down to their last out as Macias looks back to second. Looking to hold Morrow on. Morrow taking a step back to second. Good pitch. And the opening pitch to Parker Compton. Strike one outside part of the plate. Indians have done a great job of living on the corners tonight from the mound. As Macias looks in again. Indian middle middle infielders working. Sawyer steps off and just felt a little uncomfortable right there as Macias steps off, takes time. Sawyer Morrow playing a little bit of mind games with the sophomore as Macias looks back, looks to the plate. And the pickoff nice move. move. Got it. And they got him. 
And that's going to end your ball game, folks. Seminole going to walk away 2-0 in district play with a 4-1 win over Midland Greenwood. We're going to take a couple of minutes here to get everything added up. And we'll be back with the Amy Williams DDS postgame show right after this. For all your abstract and title service needs, you can depend on Gaines County Abstract Company located 207 South Main in Seminole. Gaines County Abstract Company is the original title company in Gaines County with complete records that date back to the 1800s. So give them a call at 758-3351 for fast turnaround with over 160 years of combined experience along with in-house attorneys, quality abstract and title service since 1911. Welcome back to KSM 106.3 YouTube coverage as your Seminole Indians defeated the Greenwood Rangers tonight 4-1 to in a key District 3-4A ball game here at Robert Ryan Field. Dustin Wright with Bo Wells. Bo, before we get to stats, what were your thoughts of the ball game tonight? Man, the Indians played well in, in the field uh, defensively backing up their pitchers, Obed Reyes. Pitched an amazing game, 10 strikeouts. Uh, I mean, he just kept the the uh, Greenwood batters off balance all night. Uh, the Indians had had times where they had chances to put some more runs on, but, you know, that one inning when we did, it, it, you had uh, runners at uh, second and third with nobody out. They, they produced, got that four-run four, four run inning and, and closed it out. The four-run fourth was huge, as Bo alluded to. As it was scoreless to that point right there. And Jose Rosales with a no out double. Two runners on. Opened it up to a 2-0 lead. And that was followed by Obed Reyes. Won that bat later. As Reyes, he hit a double into center field. And then that was a two base error. Right. Pushed the lead out to 4-0. Greenwood was able to scratch a run in the top of the sixth inning off of a couple of stolen bases by Dylan Dominguez. Dominguez got on base with a single that inning and was able to come around on a sacrifice ground out by Zach Raybolt for their only run of the evening. Rowan Donaldson went six innings tonight for the Indians, 92 pitches, 10 strikeouts. Solid performance on the mound. Offensively for the Indians, Jose Rosales, the catcher, senior catcher for the Indians, three for three tonight with a single, that big second inning, or excuse me, fourth inning double that got the opening score started. And then another double in the sixth inning of play for a three for three on the night. A solid performance. Indians travel to Monahans on Tuesday night to take on the Monahans Lobos. That'll be a 7 p.m. ish first pitch from Lobo Field there in Monahans. Coverage is going to be done by the Monahans radio station. I uh, believe that's 98.3. Let me look at the notes real quick. 98xfm.com, audio only. So if you're going to look for Indian baseball, you'll catch it there. Uh, Rob will be doing Maiden Softball on Tuesday night, 5 p.m. first pitch. And that's going to be from the Lobos, Lady Lobos Softball Stadium. That coverage will be on KSM FM 106.3 on all platforms, radio, online, and YouTube. So be sure to catch Rob as we will welcome him back with open yeah. arms. And I must say, in a personal note, I have much more respect for you guys. And speak of the devil, Rob Franklin he's walking. He's coming to pick his stuff up. He's coming to pick his stuff up as I'm trying to get us off let me, air here. Let me get a shot of this hat. Rob's got a fedora on. <laughs> and six foot four with a fedora on. <laughs> he looks kind of funky looking. He's a funky looking guy anyways. I'm going to get home and get ready to go to... Mule shoe he in looks, the morning. He looks like Gary Player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got to travel. Oh, he is a player. Travel to Mule shoe in the morning. But for my partner, Bo Wells, Bo, thank you, buddy, for running hey. the camera, running running everything here and keeping my anxiety at a low yeah. for what it could be. I'm good. Dustin Wright. Rob Franklin, thanks for showing up right you on bet. time, buddy. <laughs> for all of you, for all of our sponsors, thank you for tuning in to KSEM 106.3, our coverage of Seminole Indian Baseball tonight here on YouTube. So until Tuesday, good, good night. night.
Thank you so much for joining us for our coverage of Seminole High School Sports on KSEM 106.3, KIKZKSEM.com, and on YouTube at Seminole TX Radio. A special thanks to our sponsors and friends of the station and the Seminole Independent School District.